In this video, we'll show you how to view your Amazon Pay reports in Seller Central and describe what kind of information they provide. In your Seller Central account, please make sure that you have Amazon Pay Production View selected in the Marketplace Switcher. Then, navigate to Reports and select Payments from the drop down list. By default, the page will open on the Statement View tab providing you with a quick overview of your current total balance, available funds, and recent payouts. To see the dashboard for a different settlement period, choose a date from the dropdown. A breakdown of your sales, refunds, fees, reserve, and available funds is shown in this section. You can see a further breakdown of fees by clicking Amazon Pay Fees. Below the breakdown, tells you when your funds are scheduled to be transferred to your bank account. You can print the statement view of your selected period by clicking Print Statement, or you can view the transactions for this period by clicking this link. This will take you to the Transaction View page, which is also accessible by clicking on the Transaction View tab. This page shows all the transactions for your selected settlement period. You can also filter by the transaction type within a settlement period, past number of days, or a custom date range you select. Next is the All Statements tab. Here, you can download the settlement reports to review the movement of funds for each settlement period. The Disbursement tab shows the status of your disbursements in each settlement cycle. You can select a time period you want to review and track where your funds are in the disbursement cycle. You can also view important information like the trace ID, which is the banking network's unique identifier for the fund transfer, settlement group, which is Amazon's unique identifier for the settlement period, payout status, and payment amount are all available on this page. View summary will take you back to the statement view and the Download button will download the settlement report for your selected settlement period. If you would like to see more than one settlement report at a time, click the Date Range Reports tab. From this page, you can click the Generate Report button to generate a monthly transaction report or a custom date range report. Please keep in mind when generating date range reports that if you select the current date or a date in the future, your report will not generate until after that date has passed. After entering your custom date, click Generate. Your report will process, and after clicking the Refresh link, you can select the Download button. Next, let's look at the Payments Transaction Reports. Navigate to Reports and select Payments Transaction Reports from the drop-down list. Transaction reports are available for order references, authorizations, captures, refunds, and billing agreements, each on its own tab, and they each show you detailed status of the transactions. To view a report, click the tab for each type of report you want to see, for example, captures. In the Select Date Range fields, Choose a from date and a to date, and then click search. Select the report you want to view, and then click download report. Please keep in mind that transaction reports are only available for the past 90 days. We recommend that you save copies for your records. Lastly, from the reports menu, you can view available 1099K forms. To do this, navigate to reports and then select Tax Document Library from the drop-down list. Your 1099-K form will be available to download on this page. Please note, you're eligible to receive a 1099-K form if your gross payment volume for a calendar year exceeds $20,000 and you have more than 200 transactions in that same year across all your Amazon Pay and Selling on Amazon accounts. And that's how to view your Amazon Pay reports in Seller Central. If you're interested in learning more, See our other Amazon Pay University videos.